Welcome, it's Mark Leibovit, and yes, that was one of the themes from uh, my favorite film, The Ten Commandments, and you're listening to a Leibovit VR tutorial here for Metastock, and you are looking at the homepage at vrtrader.com, where I offer my silver, platinum, gold letter, vice letter, my annual forecaster report, and my book, The Trader's Book of Volume. At Metastock, you can sign up for the Volume Reversal Toolkit, which incorporates three versions of my Volume Reversal, the Sequential, Directional, and Two-Day, all part of the same package. I use Sequential on these videos because it posts all positive and negative VRs, but we do have the option of looking at the Directional, which filters out repetitive VRs and applies a stop, and the Two-Day version or Two-Bar version, which is based on the premise that following a positive and negative VR, we tend to get follow-through in the direction of the volume reversal for a day or two. Meanwhile, let's jump to the charts. We'll look at two situations, both on the weekly chart. Let's uh, look at GLD. Uh, GLD uh, on a weekly chart had a big move here since the uh, the beginning of the year. If we back off here a little bit, we can see basically from the beginning of the year, a bunch of positive volume reversals came in, and we took off to the upside here with about a 30% move in gold. One of the things that I look at, if you're familiar with my work here in the past, I look at the 533 stochastic, which is on the bottom or middle section of the screen. As a general rule, when it's rising, I, um, I'm more inclined to use the positive VR, and when there's a negative, I like to see a downtrending negative VR. It's not carved in stone, but it's a good, uh, reliable tool. Yeah, pretty much we had a huge move here, but look what happened in the last uh, several weeks. Uh, several negative volume reversals came in, and in particular, we start to see a downtrending stochastic, and this told me that the top was being formed here. So we're pretty much on the sidelines here. We did get an uptick on the weekly stochastic here, so maybe we'll get a little bit of a bounce until we really clear the highs and until I generate a positive volume reversal. Uh, I think I really have to uh, pretty much stand on the sidelines here, though I suppose we can always do a day trade or perhaps consider a little bit of a one or two day trade if we see some volume come in but uh, for now until I see a pattern you know much like uh, here we have a positive ER at a rising 533 stochastic particularly on the weekly basis uh, I'm more of the mind that uh, yes we could get a bounce but we could still see more of a pullback so that's sort of my view here with uh, gold and uh, of course a lot is contingent upon the news environment a lot of uh, speculation whether the Fed's going to raise rates in September. I don't think it'll happen. If it doesn't, I suppose that's more positive for gold and gold shares here short term. Whether that's enough to take them to new highs, that's a whole other uh, that's a whole other issue. So uh, let's look at here. My next one was first majestic. As you know, that's AG, which was a silver play. Huge move here from the beginning of the year. Uh, Two dollar stock up to nearly twenty dollars a share. Um, no surprise that we hit a bit of a top here. Negative volume reversal start to come in. Uh, let's see here. That was as early as August 5th on the weekly chart. You can see the 533 stochastic turned south, and that told us a possible top was being formed, and indeed we have uh, sold off. There was a little positive ER in the middle, but no clear sign of a bottom there in terms of a rising stochastic. Now we start to get a little bit here into the end of the week, and we are oversold. We had a huge drop here from about 1950 down to about 11, so we could certainly get a bounce here, and again, it might be tradable, so stay tuned to our uh, vrtrader.com uh, updates for the, either the platinum service or our gold letter. We may indeed try to uh, trade it, but ideally for me, much as I just mentioned in the uh, gold market, I like to see uh, a positive ER and a rising stochastic to help confirm a real bottom here. We could get a technical bounce and then find ourselves right back down again. In fact, a technical bounce in a stock of this volatility could easily carry up to the 15-16 area, and then we could find ourselves back down again. So, um, again, big picture bull uh, I guess cautious here uh, maybe uh, leaning a little more positive because uh, a little bounce started on Friday and we could get some follow-through this coming week following Labor Day but in terms of a, a big call I'm um, gonna pretty much uh, be looking to buy under the market here until we see some evidence uh, to the contrary so uh, that's a quick look at uh, what was happening and I just want to get back with you a little bit here we haven't had an update for a couple weeks and give you an idea of the kind of things that I'm looking at go to vrtrader.com for more uh, specifics and uh, thanks for tuning in